David. Yes. I've been watching a program on TV called Lucky Man. It's actually a series that's on about some guy that has a bracelet and whatever he does, he just wins at. He's like the luckiest guy in the world. Right. You're smiling as if I'm making this up. It's yeah, I haven't true. actually seen that. No, it is actually right. true. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be great to be that lucky? Right. And the fact is, I tried it, not with a bracelet, but I got a coin, flipped up, fought heads, landed heads. I got some dice, rolled them, fought seven, landed seven. Let's go Vegas. Let's go Vegas. <laughs> well, I thought to myself, I'm going to try the hardest piece of luck ever, which is with a deck of cards. Right. Okay. I'm going to give myself the odds of only one out of 52, where I'm going to give you the odds of 51 out of 52. So the odds are seriously stacked in your favor. Yeah. Let me tell you how this is going to work. I shuffled up a deck of cards. I've got no idea what the order is, but they're in here. Every one of the cards, there's 52 different cards. So each card is in a different location. Yeah. Inside my wallet, I've got a five pound note with a prediction attached to it. If the card I've predicted is not at the number that you're gonna tell me in a moment, you get to take away the fiver. Yeah. Okay. But if it is at the number, I get to keep it. Right. Now the fact is, you know, you've got 51 chances of yeah. me getting this wrong. That, because yeah. I've got no idea what all of these cards are in. Yeah. You've got no idea. And I don't know what number you're going to give me. And at the moment, you don't know what number no. you're going to give me. So in your mind, I want you to think of any number between 1 and 52. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. What number you got? Um, 15. 15. You sure? Yeah. There's no way I could have known you were going to choose a number 15. No. Okay. And you don't know what card is in position 15? No, I don't. Before we go any further, I'm going to place the bet here. Okay. Because I'm willing, if I don't get this right, yeah. that's to give you that £5 note. All right. And yeah. my business card as a souvenir. I'll, I'll take the five <laughs> But inside this box, as I said, we have got uh, 52 different cards. You take hold of yeah. them. Um, spread them out on the table. I want you to make sure that they are just a randomly shuffled deck. Have a quick scan over them to make sure there are no duplicate cards. I'm sure there isn't, it should be a regular deck. Yeah, not that I can see. Yep, yeah. okay, square them up. And I want this to be as fair as possible, so hold the deck face up in your hand so everyone can see what's going on. I want you to deal 14 cards onto the table. Yeah. And then the 15th card, just deal to one side, so we know that's yours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so you chose 15, which yeah. gave you randomly the Queen of Spades. Correct. If you would have chose 14, you would have got the Three of Clubs. If yeah. you would have chose uh, 16, 15. you would have got the Four of Diamonds. Just make sure, now you know what that card is, just make sure that there are no other Queen of Spades in the pack. Yeah, no. No, uh, have a little check there. Yeah, no, it all looks... Okay, so there is no other Queen of Spades in the pack. That was a free choice out of 52. Yeah. Over here, like I said, I'd written a prediction. And my prediction says, I knew you would choose that card. <laughs> right, and okay. to be honest, you chose that card. You didn't choose this card, this card, this card, this card, or this card, this card, this card. You chose that card, and that's what I predicted. You're a miracle worker. Yeah, but I knew you wouldn't be impressed with that. Right. And I did say I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. So on the £5 note, I actually wrote a prediction. And the prediction does actually say the <laughs> Queen of Spades. Let me show you that to the camera. That is wicked. I love that. 